Hi, today we will talk about mechanics part 1. Today in this lesson we will learn that what is motion, distance and displacement, speed, relative velocity and acceleration and of course their questions also we will attempt some of it. So stay tuned. So our first topic is motion. So first question arises according to this topic is what is motion really? So here is the exact bookish definition. What is motion? Motion is the change in position of an object with respect to its surrounding in a given interval of time. Is This is the bookish definition. But the main definition which you have to remember is what is motion? An object which moves from one place to another with time. I am moving from Lucknow to Delhi in one hour. So I am doing some motion. So this is only a motion's definition. There are kinds of motion. Mainly it is of two types of motion. One is motion in straight line and one is motion in many directions or motion in multi directions. Okay. So in this chapter we will learn about motion in straight line only. So in this motion chapter our second topic is most vital and important and it is also a basic topic that is distance and displacement. So what is distance? In general terms distance means distance is a scalar quantity that refers to how much ground an object has covered during its motion. Simply remember this thing that an object traveled in a path with interval of time is called distance. And now let's see what is displacement. Displacement is a vector quantity that refers to how far out of the place an object is. It is the object's overall change in position. If an object's starting point and ending point is same, then displacement will be zero. Remind, remember this thing because this is an important point. So let's discuss about displacement and distance question so that we can understand which type of questions and what is distance and displacement really is. So in this questions, it tells an object moves from point A to B to C, then back to point B and then to C along the line shown in the figure below. Now the question arises that find the distance covered by the moving object. So we have to know that distance cannot be negative. But so that's why distance will be added. Find the distance covered below. So A to B is 5 kilometers as we can see and B to C is 4 kilometers so total distance will be 4 plus 5 that is 9 kilometers. Second question is find the magnitude and direction of the displacement of an object. So in this question it is not coming to directly A so distance and displacement will be same that is uh, we got 9 kilometers and as far as direction goes it is towards east speed is nothing but distance traveled by an object in unit time so speed's formula is speed equals to distance by time and uh, let us solve some numericals about speed the question is if it takes three hours to drive a distance of 192 kilometers on a motorway what would be your average speed in kilometers per hour so average speed and speed are same so let's solve this question answer so as we know speed equals to distance by time so we applied that formula that is 192 kilometers per hour by 3 hours equals to 64 so average speed is also 64 per hour and by the way remember one thing that if that kilometer per hour is there as this uh, kilometers is there and R is there then it's okay but if there is meter and R then you have to convert the meter into seconds because there is two units one is kilometer per hour and meter per unit a uh, meter per second so remember this thing and the next topic velocity is nothing but similar as speed but it contains direction so the speed which contains direction is called velocity and it is also a vector quantity vector quantity means the quantity which contains direction and magnitude both so in velocity there is direction can be should be mentioned so let's discuss one question of velocity 
Ashik, while trying to find the velocity of a pulse, took 4.5 seconds to go four times the length of Slinky, which is 10 meters. The velocity of pulse is how much? So, the answer is, first of all, we have to find the time taken by one pulse. So, we are dividing 4.5 by 4 because it is given four times the length of Slinky, which is 10 meters. So, and then we are getting 1.125 seconds so uh, this time is taken by one pulse uh, to uh, this is uh, to beep okay velocity equals to then we are finding velocity of that thing velocity is displacement by time means the same as speed so we are giving 10 by 1.125 that is we have got so answer is 8.89 meter per second Velocity difference of two objects is only relative velocity, nothing else. So, if the question is relative, find the relative velocity, then we have to find object A velocity minus object B. Then it is the relative velocity of object A. So, now the next topic is acceleration means increase in rate of velocity by time. Means if velocity is changing with respect to time, the how much? rate of velocity is changing is only an acceleration so let us solve a question of acceleration topic the question is a car accelerated from rest to a speed of 36 kilometers per hour to in 20 seconds what is the acceleration of the car in meter per second square so in this question we it is given that you have to convert me kilometers per hour into meter per second so we will convert kilometers per hour into meter per second so initial velocity is zero means it is at rest that's why it is zero and final velocity is 36 okay so acceleration we know 36 divided by 20 seconds equals to acceleration but here is a tricky question this is a tricky question tricky question why because we have to convert 36 kilometers per hour into meter per second to get the answer in meter per second square. So how will we do uh, it? We will together multiply it with 1000. So we get 10 meter per second. So acceleration equals to 10 meter per second by 20 seconds equals to 0 0.5 meter per second square. So this is the acceleration. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day.